Zimbabwe has a glorious history in film. Movies like Cry Freedom and King Solomon's Mines were shot here in the 1980s. But the industry seems to have lost its way. Right now, I don't think there's anyone who's making money through film in Zimbabwe. Rumbika Tedza has been lucky enough to produce films that have made it into theatres abroad. But she acknowledges it's been a hard slog. Funding is very hard to find because we don't have, we don't have government funding and in terms of uh, other sources of funding, there are very few besides the culture fund. So it makes it very difficult to make the film that you want to make as opposed to making a film that you're commissioned to make. Nollywood churns out dozens of movies every week. Few are likely to win Academy Awards, but they generate sales estimated at more than $500 million a year. That's comparable to what Zimbabwe makes from exporting tobacco. The government's convinced film could make a big contribution to the economy and says it's ready to support the industry so it can knock Nigeria off its perch. That won't be easy. Here's why. Nigerian movies are extremely popular, but their success is based on massive home support from the 160 million plus population. Zimbabwe with just 13 million can't rival that. And even on the streets, it is Nigerian movies that dominate. Filmmakers are finding it hard to get their movies to the market before pirates, and that's hit their pockets. That's where Nollywood could provide valuable lessons. I think Nollywood uh, teaches us a lot in terms of um, distribution and how successful you can be if you have the right structures for distribution. However, we cannot completely emulate Nollywood. We have to look, I think, at emulating Nollywood while taking ideas from other countries as well, like South Africa, like South Korea, countries that have invested not only in the production of film, but in the development of film. We have big kids. The Zimbabwe International Film Festival says getting the film industry back on track requires a collective effort, so it's not just up to government. The private sector must step up too. And if that happens, then it may soon be a case of move over Nollywood and welcome Zollywood. Chineke, Farai Mwakutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.